Hey guys, so just finished up at the pool. Um, pretty easy swim today because I'm doing a double day. So I got to swim this morning and then a bike interval session this afternoon. So VO2 intervals again um, as part of this last block of the base phase. And I, I just wanted to touch on, um, I don't normally do sessions in this order. The only reason I'm doing my easy session before my interval session uh, on a double day is because of the time availability at the pool. Um, the pool shuts at 10 a.m. So it's uh, 9.58 now. So the pool's about to shut the outdoor 50. Um, and then it doesn't reopen till between 12 and 2 p.m. and then after 4. So just with what I'm doing with work today, it's just not going to work. So had to get my swim done first. But ideal scenario is we always try and get our high intensity session done earlier in the day. Um, only because of managing fatigue and we also want those intervals to be as quality as possible, particularly VO2 intervals. You're trying to go near your max. Uh, yes, you get the equal recovery, but we're trying to go as hard as we possibly can in those efforts. So what that means is we need to be as fresh as we can. So ideally doing them first where we're not as fatigued. Um, and then we can go to our long slow zone two type session later on today, um, later on in the day, sorry. And and that's the ideal way to do it. You can do you can do your into, uh, your interval session second. Um, I don't find I, I find like on a day like today where I'm doing my swim first, I back up not too bad, um, and I'm able to get through it. But if I was to do like a run this morning or a long slow bike this morning and try and do a high intensity effort um, this afternoon, I'd probably struggle a bit more. So you got to manage it that way. Um, I also find doing gym first. Um, works a little bit better for me trying to get my lift done i get uh, a little bit more done out of the strength side of things um, and i'm able to just push through the bike or whatever in the afternoon as well so it is about managing individual to yourself but generally speaking um, ideal scenario is trying to get your high intensity session done first in the day if you do have to have a double session day um, and then get your long slow uh, session as, uh, at the end of the day or second and the other one is trying to avoid two high intensity sessions. So this morning swim was just a cruisy 1500 meters, um, moving through a few gears. So every every hundred just getting a little bit faster, a little bit faster. So um, slow, medium, fast, if you like, and then repeating that cycle sort of uh, for 1500 meters. Um, just just sort of changing through gears, getting getting a different set of speeds going, get the arms rolling over a little bit quicker, and working on a bit of technique throughout it as well. But overall, it's just building the Ks into the into the swim, a um, bit like what a zone two zone two effort would do, um, bike and run anyway. So yeah, that's that's sort of a bit of an insight into today. Swim then bike. Um, I'll get back uh, to work. Got a few things to do. Then I'll get on the trainer later on today. Absolute ripper day. You were seen uh, out at the pool this morning. Super sunny. It's going to be like 20 degrees today, which is awesome. Better than the days we have had in uh, the last week or so. So it should be good to get out and get some training done in this back end of the base phase. Today's VO2 interval set. Descending intervals, 17 minutes. Two three minutes, two two and a half, and then three twos to finish or one to one work to rest. All aiming for 255 watts or just above. Should take me, based on this, including the warm-up, uh, 45, 50 minutes. Um, we'll see how we go throughout this week's hard session of the week. Let's get into it. Hey guys, quick one just to finish off this week, just gonna give you a bit of a look into the types of things I'm doing as a mobility routine. I'm just gonna fast forward through it and give you almost a little type time lapse of my, my session. Um, so mobility exercises, some stretching, bit of foam rolling, using the lacrosse ball, etc. Um, just to keep the body feeling all good and loose, um, ready for next week's set of training. Uh, feel a little bit sore, starting to get to the back end of the base phase now, so we've only got so one week to go, deload, and then uh, footy's finishing up as well, so we're gonna head back into back into testing. Probably aim to retest, um, not next week, the week after, just allow me to recover up a little bit, and then we'll start getting stuck in the really specific training leading up to bus, so, so a little bit more focus on threshold of the build phase, uh, and then eventually we're gonna we're gonna get into the taper because I think we're we're sort of what this is week ten done now um, we're halfway so we're getting pretty uh, close towards the business end of things so I'm gonna get into this mobility session uh, and we'll see how we go. 